Welcome back to Pinoy Bounce and the player highlight of the week. That sixth player is Anthony Davis. He scored 40 points and 20 rebounds. And that game, he was marvelous. He did non-stop pick and rolls, lobs, and sometimes he played like a point guard. And another freak of nature athlete is Giannis Antetokounmpo. And the Toronto Raptors is gonna play against Milwaukee Bucks this weekend. So what do you guys think about that? Ooh, another Eastern Conference final. A rematch. 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 We rematch. meet again kind of thing. Yeah. Well, I'm really I'm really looking forward to, to watching this matchup. Uh, one well, yeah, thing I you have free weekend this weekend. I got a free so weekend. Oh, I'm locked. <laughs> Saturday night, I am locked in. I'm going to have the remote ready to rewind some great plays. I'm going to break down the film. No, but I'm really excited because I'm an optimist and I'm loving what I'm seeing from the Raptors so far and their defense. Oh, it's been great. And one of the big factors in the playoff series against Milwaukee last year was Kawhi uh, defending Giannis. It really changed the whole series as soon as Kawhi went on Giannis. So the Raptors don't have that this year. So if they were to play Milwaukee in a playoff series, I really want to see which of our guys can slow down Giannis, which is insane to say. Who would it be? Is it it's, Pascal? It's a little OG. bit of Pascal. Yeah, you know, but OG's looked amazing. Yeah. He might be the one. He may be. He's, if he's the one, if he's the next, uh, uh, like, great Kawhi. defender, <laughs> Kawhi. mini Kawhi, like, like, what a unforeseen kind of fantastic circumstance of that Kawhi Leonard trade that, yes, we won the championship, incredible, Raptors won the championship. Uh, so, like, amazing. <laughs> But then also you have this like young raw prototype player, much like Kawhi was, with like the exact same body frame as him, who gets to spend an entire year in the gym with Kawhi, learning from him, building a relationship with him that now like, if OG's going through something or struggling with a move or something like that, or struggling with a certain way teams are, are coming at him on defense or offense, he can text Kawhi and be like, hey, like this is what's happening, like what do you think? Like, you wouldn't be able to have that relationship with that player if he wasn't a teammate. You don't just get that out of nowhere. So I feel like that's going to help OG in his career. And I, I really hope Nick Nurse puts just OG on Giannis for a good chunk. Like, let's see it. Let's, let's see it happen. Yeah. What do, you, do you guys think he's got a shot? Or do you think, is that going to kill his confidence? Like, OG's building so nicely right now. Earlier in the season, he's defending. He looks amazing. He's been so good. And then you don't want to... fantasy. Yeah. Like, Thank you, you don't, for him. You don't want to put him in front yeah. of Giannis, and then Giannis just destroys him, and then yeah. his confidence goes away with it. And then what? Then, then we're left with last year OG, which oh, he wasn't was, great. Yeah. Like, he's going to... A lot of stuff. He had a rough year, but... Yeah. You don't want to kill a young guy's confidence too, right? Yeah. So it's going to be a balancing act. Yeah. Do you guys think Milwaukee's going to be a threat uh, this year in the East uh, against uh, Philly? No? Not at all. Yeah, yeah I'm I skeptical. Feel, I feel Philly's more of a threat compared to Milwaukee. Yeah. I mean, they, were, they had such a hype last season and everything, yeah. and we totally killed them. Yeah. Off of four, like a four run. Four like, straight, so, yeah. yeah. four straight. So I was just, I think that really killed their confidence too just because even for coming back yeah. to the season they've been i think what two two and two right now yeah yeah exactly yeah they're not yeah. they're not lighting the world on fire by any no. means and and they lost brogdon which is yeah. huge like he was a great player for them and I, underrated too like. yeah underrated player a yeah, solid player how good he is for indiana yeah man. that was a nice pickup from Indiana. once yeah. Oladipo depot gets back like i'm excited to see what indiana can do yeah. especially because they got jeremy lamb too yeah. who's who like, really showed last in, year he can they score can run small they can have like Brogdon at the point guard, Oladipo, yeah. uh, Jeremy Lamb, and TJ Warren, and Miles Turner. That's Miles Turner. Nice. And they got uh, Sabonis. 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 This is, guy is just solid. It's a good team. Like yeah. that, That's a fun team they to, rob to watch. Yeah. Yeah. They robbed OKC. They robbed OKC of Oladipo yeah, and Sabonis. Yeah, that was a good, that, yeah. that worked out, right? But um, yeah, so we'll see what Milwaukee can do. And, and I'm sure they're all kind of side eye looking at Eric Bledsoe like, all right, when we get to the playoffs, are you going to... Are you, you going to play with us? Are you going to be with us? Was it worth the money that they gave him? Because uh, I felt like they should have given that to Brogdon. <laughs> yeah, just, right? Like, it really looked what? like that in the playoffs. They gave it to Bledsoe why a little early. They like, gave it to why didn't you wait till the end of the year? Like, let's see him in the playoffs. And yeah. they gave Can it I to him right before. Yeah. Chris Middleton, he was also given that, like, he was more money yeah. to Yeah, yeah. So give it to Middleton. But he's getting, oh, he's getting older yeah. now, too. Right? How old is he? Yeah, Middleton, like, I don't know what to make of him. Like, he's a great player. He's awesome. But, like, is he the question? question is, is he, could he be the second best player on an NBA championship team? That's the question. Yeah. Yeah. And it's questionable I, right now. It is questionable. Even, yeah. It really yeah. is, right? Because last year they, they had their, their foot on the Raptors' neck. Yeah. They were up 2-0 in the series. And they were feeling good. The Raptors looked like they had no chance. And 
and the, the series totally turned, right? And, and that's where you need other superstars, because mm -hmm. the one guy is not going to lead you once you start facing elite teams. Like, you need other guys to step up. And we, we see that every year with whether it was the Warriors, you always needed the other guys. Like, Iguodala had, like, a great game or whoever, right? But, you know, speaking of stepping up, too, I think with the Raptors, like, what we worried about when losing Kawhi is someone that can make their own shot and someone that can knock down the shots. Shot. Yeah. And I feel like with Pascal, we can we have that person that can make his own shot. Spicy. And, and in yeah. terms of someone that can knock down shots, now we see it with with Fred and with OG. He was hitting big shots against um, Orlando. Yeah, and he was and, just making threes. And, and, and that was the there there. was the big question with Siakam because last year in the offense it was very much spot up shooter. He'd yeah. stand in the corner or he'd. He'd uh, cut to the to the basket, and either Gasol or somebody would find him driving to get it. Boom! High layup off the glass. And the question is, okay, what's going to happen now this year? The other team's coming in with a game plan. What's their game plan? Stop Siakam. Yeah. Will he be able to maneuver that, create his own shot on a consistent basis throughout the whole game? And it was it was a big question, right? And so far, we're very I'm sure we're all pleased to say. He looks great. He's beating guys off the dribble. He's running pick and rolls. He's he's getting to the rim. He can score in so many different ways. And it's like, okay, dude, like what is the ceiling on this guy? Because he looks incredible. He looks fantastic. I like, think so too. I mean, a non-biased prediction that you guys have for this Saturday: who's gonna win and who is gonna be our player that's really gonna be a good matchup for a good matchup nightmare for the Bucks. I say oh. Raptors are gonna win it. Yeah, I'm gonna win. I just feel From like who, who's gonna be the kind of the guy that's kind of gonna be the key factor that's gonna help them win. I feel like Larry can be able to make those plays for us. He's gonna yeah. be that X factor, right? Yeah. I mean, he's already into the season. He's already averaging oh, 22 points. Great. Yeah. He's exactly, been improving yeah. from the time he's been with us. Ooh. So Never now. underestimate the size of the chip on Lowry's yeah. shoulder. Exactly. And yeah. I think it helped him too because yeah. he's always had struggles too. And I think just winning the championship now to him, like he doesn't have any more to prove about the Raptor or in terms of his contract. One hundred percent worth. And you know what? Now, like Kawhi and Danny Green left, and nobody even considered the Raptors as, as like a top a team, team in the East. You <laughs> know what I mean? Look at how they're doing. And look at how they're doing. Their defense looks locked tight, like really solid, which is gonna, which is great for the playoffs. The question is, can they score in the playoffs, right? But that's the next challenge for Siakam exactly. once we get there, yeah. and if OG can develop a little bit. And Van Vliet again. Van Vliet, I think he's going to be key. In the right, yeah, he just looks so poised. Like, and that's Freddy, funny. Freddy has been the, big, like, yeah. the best nickname I've ever heard. Just yeah, because of the way he hundred percent. And he's yeah. been shooting so deep. Yeah, yeah. his, his so range great. has gotten yeah. so much further back, which which you you need at that size, right? Yeah, which Curry true. has kind of shown. But but then and then that's the next challenge for these guys, right? Is okay. It's easy to be effective and score when you have Kawhi Leonard on the court, who the other team has two guys just staring at him the whole time. It's another thing when you are the guys that everybody's staring at. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be really exciting uh, to watch that develop over the whole season with, our young, with, the, our, with the Raptors young guys mm -hmm. and in the playoffs for sure. What do you think, Mark? Uh, I think we all agree. I think we got the Raptors, and I think Lowry's going to have a good game here, depending on how Brogdon takes him, but I think he just has the chip now on his I just, shoulder. Yeah, I just feel like we can be able to expose them and everything, mm -hmm. cut them down and everything. I think so, too. Well, that's all we have, guys, for all about the Raptors. I'm throwing it back to James for our Hope My Yourself video of the week. Today's Hoops Mario Yosef video of the week is James Harden. And this video, he basically tried to dribble the ball, tried to draw a foul, but he couldn't do it, so he ended up hitting himself in the face. Self-inflicted <laughs> injury. Just kidding. 